and welcome everybody here at Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fortune aggro. We're combining Noxus aggressive elements with Bilgewater with Misfortune. I've seen a lot of people play Misfortune with Sejuani. Um, you know, we're going Misfortune with Noxus, um, you know, because that extra damage that Misfortune does definitely helps out all of these other attackers and trying to get that damage to just add up. Um, of course, you do want to be able to attack a lot of times with Misfortune, of course. So we're going to pair Misfortune with Katarina because Katarina, whenever we level it up, we get to rally and those extra rallies, you know, we can attack three times in a turn with Katarina. Those extra rallies definitely help out uh, Misfortune. Instead of the third Katarina, though, because it's not a card that you really want early, we're going to go with one Draven um, where basically our... our uh, you know, have, have an extra Draven in here. Just another really good, solid attacker and card to play um, on turn three. Top end, we're going with Razor Scale Hunter, underrated card. Remember last time we played this deck, Razor Scale Hunter was, um, was awesome. Grants an enemy vulnerable permanently, and it has the Scout, so the Scout's really good with Misfortune. I'm just not that big of a fan of the four mana Scout, to be honest. Um... I don't know, maybe I should be playing it, but I'm not that big of a fan of Island Navigator. Could have it instead of Jaw Hunters, I suppose, but I like Jaw Hunters more uh, with that Challenger. Um, and then we got uh, Citrus Courier, also the top end, another way to rally, another way to get another attack step. The other thing our deck can do is is with these Challengers, with Jaw Hunters, tr Glory Seeker Challenging, uh, the higher Guns, and the... Um, Razor Scale Hunter is granting Vulnerable. With all that challenge stuff, we have Legion Drummers um, to help support all of those and to get some removal in that way also. All right, so that's our deck. It's a pretty fun one to play. Let's go play five games over in Ranked. Like we always do, try to live that 5-0 dream, but I'm feeling like we're going to get a 3-2. I'll be happy with the 3-2. Get that 60% win rate which is definitely good because as you can see today we got a good 60 percent rank up sunday stream all right we'll get rid of our top end to start with and i'll keep a transfusion Hired gun. Don't stand in my way. It's probably better to have two twos than have a one toughness thing. They're playing Mega Rain Misfortune. Probably don't want to have a one toughness thing. So we'll just have two two twos instead of a two three and a two one. Looking for trouble? It found you. It found you. We march as one, an unstoppable force. No one's the wiser. Hmm. So I could go straight to attacks, and then we have double transfusion, and it's like their their blocks are pretty pretty bad. Uh, the problem with that is we don't have Misfortune in play and leveling up Misfortune. <clears throat> if I play Misfortune, they can have the 4 mana thing and get a 2-4, and that's annoying. I'm gonna play Misfortune. I hope they don't have the T4. Wow. Ugh. I guess Hapless Service Crest not as good. Yep, they have the 
can, yeah, they can trade misfortunes. Down to nine. Ooh, it's not bad. We could have a couple of transfusions on defense if we want. So I'm glad. Um, let's take this. I'm glad they're not. Yeah, there we go. I say I'm glad. Glad they didn't just use the vulnerable with the scout first and try to trade there, and then if I had a transfusion, then do the vulnerable again. All right, that's a good win. Uh, Misfortune, Sejuani is, you know. Probably one of the top two decks right now, and so that's a good, good quality win out aggroing them. Looks like another Misfortune Mirror. This time, at Misfortune plus Quinn. So get rid of these. And yeah, we'll keep Jaw Hunters. Jaw Hunters is just fine. <clears throat> Alright, well, that's. If you like. If you like numbers to go up, one, two, three. And nice combo. Disciple Demolitionist. Yep. Yeah, Concerned Strike with Fiora counts as a kill. Yep. The Fiora is the thing that's striking, so the Fiora, Fiora kills something. They get a random one mana spell. What's that random one mana spell? So that's the thing they're casting right now. Jailbreak. Oh, that's a good one cost follower. It's not bad for two mana total. You get a Legion Saboteur with a 1 2 attached. That's not bad. Um, yes, that is non-combat damage for Swain, so, uh, yeah, single combat does level up, uh, d does go towards leveling up Swain, because it is non-combat damage. I love a taste of the action. <laughs> what could punish me for attacking with Misfortune? I don't know. I'm gonna attack. I mean, they could have Radiant Strike. Love ya. They would turn this thing into a 3-2 and block with it. By the strength of our convictions. Okay. Strong speakers this week. Dark times. We're going to have to kill that Dawn Speakers. Ugh. I don't want to see him make a rain. I don't want to 
want to see him make it rain. I guess, like, I, I was not planning on playing Katarina here at all. But I guess I'm going to play Katarina. So that if they do have a Mega Rain, I have the Blaze Edge to kill that. This thing turns into a 4-3. Without mercy. Is that all? Maybe I should just be doing the one damage to them. We're not even playing it. Okay, that feels pretty good. Go for goods is good against me. No, that's like the worst sea monster to get. Cost so much mana for a six-five fearsome. I have my orders. Go and harvest it. All right, kill that thing. Blood for Noxus. Delicious. Timing is everything. Gotta get rid of this Jaw Hunters. Or sorry, not, not get rid of the Jaw Hunters, sorry, gotta get rid of the Dawn Speakers. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, it's basically a 6-5 unblockable. True. Yuck. All right, well, I still like where we're at. We're at, um, they have three cards, I have four, and we have a Misfortune in play. That's unfortunate that our Katarina died. Um, but, you know, they have removal, so that's how it goes. Not everything always lives. So I basically want to have Demolitionist block these. I don't want to have Draven, you know, like they, if I just play Draven, they attack with these. I don't want to block with Draven. Gross. Stop taking stuff. My cards are also good to take. Hopefully that helps us find another Katarina though. The party has Wrong champion. Yeah, I really want to level up Misfortune. 
So if we do that, we're golden. Nothing like the stink of blood. I should just attack with Misfortune also, because I have a Make It Rain. So they block with their two things, then I Make It Rain. I should have attacked with Misfortune. Um, But now, do I Make It Rain or not? Nah? Nicarine would save the Demolitionist. Yeah. Love ya. I again want this Demolitionist to be able to block. Don't want to have to block with my champions. Be nothing left when I'm done. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. We are going to play this Terror of the Tides next turn. No, I don't like that either. Still don't like that. Ooh. There we go. Hey there, Red. Well, that's one fantasy come true. Bet you I kill more of them. Oh, it's on. Playing this to kill these powder kegs. If they don't have removal for Misfortune and Katarina, we're going to be looking great. I guess my Katarina's not... They just throw blockers in front of it, though, right? And, and it doesn't actually strike. Hmm. And so it doesn't actually level up and come back to us. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, it does this damage first, so it just does three there. Three and then one. So it's still just gonna do one to everything, so I would rather kill this thing. Uh, and then we go down to three. Probably got a block. Hey buddy, what you doing? I'm sorry, Draven. They'll die of boredom? Five or seven. Basically, uh, yeah, we can sacrifice that just to gain two life. That's okay. It's just a day. How do we get this Katarina to strike and level up? <laughs> it's easier said than done. I mean, we're probably just going to kill them with this attack, but... I guess that's the bad part about Misfortune and Katarina together, is all their stuff's dead. Your misfortune just kills their things, and so Katarina doesn't get to strike and level up. Well, that's the thing. I no, the the misfortune trigger kills the blockers. I know it's not Nexus Strike. It, Katarina levels up when she strikes anything, but the misfortune trigger kills the blockers. So they they just throw a blocker in front. Misfortune trigger kills the blocker. Katarina then has nothing to strike. Like, that's what was going to happen. Hey, mangrels. Yeah, basically, because our, our misfortune was going to level up, do three damage to all their stuff. So that's probably a connection issue. That happens sometimes whenever it it uh, shows the win immediately like that. Um, 
It's usually a connection issue. So obviously you're not counting that as a win. All right, Shadow Isles Lucian, Spooky Lucian. Uh, all these cards could be kind of good. I kind of like this. Actually, like, I like the Razor Skill Hunter in this kind of matchup, and we already have, like, I already know that we're going to have good stuff for, like, two, three, four, so I don't have to, like, mulligan it. Like, we can keep the five drop. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed the, the Heimer Twisted Fate video over from over on YouTube. Awesome. Yeah, that's what we do here. Definitely always go. I mean, basically always, yeah, go go against the meta. No pray, no pay. Sometimes I, I play meta decks because you know people do want to see meta decks as well, so I'll play those sometimes. Is this a trade that I should make? Misfortune for Lucian? No, not with having Razor Skill Hunter. Uh, awesome, Aston. Glad, glad that's why you are here as well. Where are you? Yeah. All right, so that's two out of four for Lucian. Plan is next turn have Razor Skill Hunter kill Lucian and then uh, I guess it's, it makes something vulnerable. I can't just like challenge Lucian and then challenge the Escaped Abomination. They're probably going to be leveling up Lucian though, so we're probably just trading because this is that three out of four now after that block. So all they have to do is have something that kills one of their things. And then it's just a trade, but kind of need Illusion to be out of here. Yep. I'll sleep when they're dead. I sure hope they don't have another Illusion. Oh, come on. Ugh. Not good. No, they don't they can't rally this turn. They already had stuff die. They can't rally this turn. Delish. I think we need to get this other attack trigger in here. Make that three out of four. Problem is they're going to be able to rally this turn, most likely. No, 
No, because it says each round the first time an ally dies. Not not the first time that the Lucian sees an ally die. It's just the first time an ally dies. down to 10. This will keep them from being able to attack again. Oh, right, that thing attacks twice. No. Oh, right. That was, oh, no, my misfortune died. No. Kind of need that misfortune. Yeah, I should I should have done it on the Disciple, not the misfortune. That was, that was a big mistake by me. Should have done it on the Disciple. That was a big mistake. That was a big, big mistake. I don't know why I was thinking the misfortune was gonna stay alive. I just kind of forgot about the two attacks, you know. Oh come on! A third Lucian. I yeah, definitely should have done it on the Crimson Disciple. That was a big, big mistake by me. I was just thinking like the, I don't know, I was just thinking like the, the quick attack, you know, like it was like a 4-3 quick attack, not the double attack. So yeah, that was it. This is probably me losing now with the third Lucian. Yeah, that was just a poor play. Because now they get to just go straight to attacks. Like, unless we draw removal for that, which I don't know what we would have. Yeah. Alright, my bad, my bad. Definitely should have done that with Crimson Disciple. I don't know if we still win that, even if we do that with Crimson Disciple. Let's see, we'd have, like, the leveled up Misfortune. Um, but... So Glory Seeker would be important if they have Maokai. I think I'm gonna mulligan though and try to because like we don't have anything for the demolitionist right now. No one's the wiser. Never see it yeah, it's even even liking that deck, Colby. Yeah, it is. That Fiora alone deck is is very good.
Make some three threes. Gross. There's plenty of killing men. He started without me. I guess we got to trade. Corruption everywhere. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. We need just a moment. I mean, it could target the Wanderer and then they don't get to gain life. Then they have a Maokai in play. But, you know, I could have quick attack on the Wanderer. I think this is the better play, especially if we're trying to win right away. Um, I guess I should hit attack with these things first, but that's... Whatever, this is quick attack. No! Oh, that hurts. Ouch. Oh, that's the that's the perfect card. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Let's go. Oh, come on, I was playing that. I guess it went really fast. There's plenty of killing there. That's unfortunate. I was going to knock in fervor and just get this life steal thing out of here. Withering Whale was perfect. Set the hooks. Well, if they don't have any fast speed removal spells, I can win. No, they would block the three. Never mind, I wouldn't just win. Fast speed removal. That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. You don't see very much withering whale running around right now. It's not very good against very many decks, but it is amazing against our deck. Champions? No, no champions. No top end cards at all. No champions, no Citrus Courier, no Razor Skill Hunter. We'll see who Nothing. Tonight. Go and, harvest this. and two twos and two ones can't. Can't get the job done anymore. Katarina? I shall be 
is my spear. I don't know if this really helps. Katarina would have died to devour her anyway. It was my best draw, but that would have been sad to draw Katarina and then they go devour her on it. So uh, now they use the second devour. Maybe we draw Katarina now. Well, two and two, we gotta win game five. Keep our three-two streak alive. This one just didn't pan out. Yeah, looking back at it, um, I was really indecisive of what to do, as you could tell. Looking back at it, if I would have used the transfusion to pump up the 3 1, and then that would have been another 5 damage, and then an auction fervor and just go straight upstairs. If I would have just gone all straight up damage and let them keep their things, maybe we could have got there with that. Good curve with the, you know the saboteur disciple misfortune. Good curve. Good play. I think I let, yeah, I, I think like we just try to get all this damage and I think I attack with the Misfortune even though they, you know, they can block and trade with Misfortune. I think that's worth it. Um, so this will put him down to nine. So the five one's gonna die from the Yasuo thing anyway. So I could go fervor, do two, three to them, make them at six. Yeah, let's let's just do this. Let's just go upstairs. Um, that puts them down to six. Puts them down to four. I was not expecting, I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess that's the card. That's true, I could have just killed the Yasuo, um, but 
Them being at four, I got two saboteurs, got a Katarina. Yasuo. <laughs> I basically did the opposite of last time. You know, last time I used my spells to kill Maokai and not go upstairs. This time I wanted to um, Yeah, this time I wanted to use my cards to go upstairs, but <clears throat> Yep, need another point of damage somehow. I need them to stop having stun cards, stun and recall cards. I need them to stop having those. That last turn was awesome, killing both of my Legion Grenadiers. No one gets in my way. This is not good. Minotaur Reckoner. Yeah, I have to keep it on board. Because of Noxion Fervor. So both of the, I really think I could have won both of those games if I would have played differently. Just what's uh, so it makes card games like this game so tough. You know, I, I went for killing the Maokai and, and everything the the game four, but if I just dealt the damage upstairs, I think we had enough damage to kill them. And then the next game, I went for going the damage upstairs, and then they had removal spells for both my Legion saboteurs. That was some I was not expecting them to be able to kill two light Legion saboteurs like that, but they were, and so I didn't get to attack with them, and and so then we got them down to one, <laughs> and couldn't couldn't kill them. If I if I just kill Yasuo, um, yeah, that, that game's probably much, yeah, that game's probably different if I just kill Yasuo. Man, tough game, tough game. Because all I had to do was just, basically, if I just go Noxion Fervor, kill the Yasuo, and that's it, then my Misfortune trades with their, with like that, uh, with the Blade Twirler, right? And, um, you know, they don't have either of those out, and then I still have my other things, and yeah, that game's, you know, we could probably win that game from there. Um... So real close, I have to say that I have really liked Katarina more and more in this deck. I, I kind of feel like maybe we should just have the third Katarina instead of the Draven. Katarina has looked really good in this deck. I think I'd want just three Katarina. There's a lot of times where that's like the card that I want to draw. But anyway, good fun aggro deck. You know, if you like your, your fun aggro Noxus decks, you want to play Misfortune in a, in a more aggressive style. Uh, give this one a try. It's not the easiest to play, as we saw there. A lot of decisions to make. It's not just like point and click at all, especially with having all these challengers and everything like that. It's a tough one to play, um, but if you play well, you know, you, you can definitely get rewarded. Um, <laughs> I could have a day where I put, where I just do random number generator for all the decks. 
<laughs> that could be that could be a day of the week. Anyway, that's Fortune Aggro though. Uh, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. So close, so close to finishing three two across the board. That would have been really sweet. But those last two games just didn't go my way. Uh, decisions I made. Um, you know, I went, I went with route A, and I need to go route B uh, in game one, and then game two. You know, that was game four, and then game five. I went route B and needed to go route A. Uh, good learning, though. Good learning. All right. Anyway, that's it here for Fortune Aggro. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.